Assalamu alaikum hello guys in this video i'm going to explain you about the volumetric efficiency so let's start volumetric efficiency by definition is the ratio between the volume flow rate into the engine that the actual volume flow rate into the engine to the displaced volume by the piston per cycle so here i have shown the typical intake air system of a spark ignition carburetor engine the main parts of this intake system are the air filter which will filter the incoming air with a mass flow rate of m dot a and then there is a carburetor which will produce the air fuel mixture then there is a throttle body which will uh, control the amount of air fuel mixture into these cylinders so all these parts of the intake system will produce some kind of flow restriction to the incoming air by air filter by carburetor by throttle body by the design of this overall intake system there will be some kind of restrictions to the uh, incoming air so due to these restrictions the amount of the air which can actually be displaced into the cylinder is no, uh, not equal to the actual amount of volume that will be going into the engine so volumetric efficiency is defining your effectiveness of the intake air system so that's why it's an efficiency and uh, here you can see the volumetric efficiency by definition is the volume flow rate the actual volume flow rate of air which is going into your engine into your piston and then there is a volume displaced by the pistons per cycle here i have shown the displaced volume by the piston which is uh, from top dead center to bottom dead center and i have multiplied it uh, to the half of the rpms to make it volume displaced per cycle so putting the values in equation 1 the volume flow rate of actual air is equal to mass flow rate of incoming air divided by the density of the incoming air and here the v dot d displaced volume per cycle is equal to v d into rpms divided by 2 so put these two values in equation 1 we will get the uh, formula for efficiency volumetric efficiency which is uh, here as you can see volumetric efficiency is equal to 2 m dot a divided by the density of the air incoming air into the rpm and the displaced volume from top dead center to bottom dead center and the displaced volume is uh, the volume which is uh, actually given in uh, given in the data of your car or your vehicle like uh, your 70 cc bike or your 1000 cc car so that volume will be the displaced volume So guys next I want to explain you about three most important points according to me in this topic so the first one is about the inlet air density which uh, you can see in the formula of volumetric efficiency there are two uh, most common cases if you are measuring the inlet air density from outside of the air filter at atmospheric pressure and temperature then you will be seeing the overall pumping performance of the intake a system and if you are measuring it from the inlet manifold then you will only be seeing the uh, pumping performance of your inlet valve and inlet port yes the inlet valve will definitely also be uh, producing some kind of restriction to air flow so the next point about volumetric efficiency that i want to clear you guys is the volumetric efficiency uh, generally lies between 80 to 90% for naturally aspirated engines that meaning is there will be no supercharger or turbocharger present in your car so with the turbocharger and supercharger your volumetric efficiencies will be greater than 100% and the third point is the comparison between different engines yes there are a lot of methods uh, to increase the volumetric efficiency but in generally i am going to explain you uh, between diesel engine and a, a spark ignition carburetor engine car so in diesel engine the volumetric efficiency is somewhat greater than the petrol engine that's because the diesel engine allows uh, really less restrictions to the air flow as there will be no carburetor no throttle body present in the diesel engine 
so there will be less uh, restrictions also the diesel engines are designed on a linear mixture that meaning is there will be more air flow in the diesel engine so that's why the volumetric efficiency in the diesel engine is greater than the petrol engine and you can see here is the graph the petrol engine's uh, volumetric efficiency is less than the diesel engine's volumetric e efficiency so that's the brief introduction about the volumetric efficiency if you guys have any questions you can comment down below i'll try to answer them and please don't forget to like subscribe and share this video see you until the next time bye bye